Hey everyone, I hope you're as excited about animating metahumans in Maya as I am, but probably one thing that you'll notice that's a bit annoying is that whenever we try to animate the face, while we have a few descriptions around some of these toggles, there's a lot of controls that don't have any descriptions. So I made a really quick tool to try to make this easier for us. And all that is, is a way to layer in some additional descriptions here. And really it's just a cheat, it's a PNG file. But um, it's really simple to load this in and I'll show you what it looks like here. It's just a plane, right? And on this plane, you'll see that there are some additional uh, words, right? And if we just load this in with, there's a link to this in the description below this video here. If we just load this in, we could reference it in or we could import it in. We're going to get this to match up pretty nicely with our scene. Might have to do a little bit of adjustment. This is somewhat dependent on the scale of your scene. So it's going to load in that file real quick. It's just called the MetaHuman Label Plane. And there it is. It pops right in. Now, this is set to be the same height um, as what we have here inside of Maya, the, the same uh, GUI that we have inside of Maya. Probably the easiest way to set this up is to just go into our ortho front view and uh, I'll get rid of that grid because I don't like it. But um, once we have sort of aligned the top there, the bottom should align as well. And then these will pretty much be exactly where they need to be. Uh, horizontally, this shouldn't require any additional changes. The only thing that I would recommend doing here is to go into your viewport 2.0 settings and changing them to ensure that you have uh, the multi-sample anti-aliasing on. And I always turn smooth wireframe on as well. So that will just help. Now this ping file, sorry, this uh, yeah PNG file is created so that it has a reasonably high um, DPI for the uh, lettering so you can like get right in close there and you can really see them but even when you pull out a little bit there they're still pretty visible i run this on um a much wider monitor generally speaking and uh, so that kind of definitely helps with creating some visibility there um, usually i'll run this as just two panes side by side uh, and that way i can kind of if i needed to i could scroll into this a little bit more and see what i'm looking at but uh, I run this on like a 34 inch monitor, so it actually really fills it up quite nicely. And um, I think it's pretty, pretty obvious uh, what each of these things refers to. Um, I've tried to lay it out as uh, straightforward as possible here. Let's turn off these little lights because we don't need those in the scene there. Um, and uh, what's nice as well is that, you know, if you want to move uh, this GUI around, you just sort of move the image plane along with it. You could just parent it to the GUI um, and the image plane comes in. It should have its own uh, layer. And so what I normally do here is just set this to reference mode so I don't accidentally select it. So it's really, really simple. The, the That plane, the correctly sized plane and the image file are in the link in the description. I hope this is of help to you. Thanks for watching and good luck. Let me know how this helps you out or if you have any additional thoughts on um, another way to present this data in an even better way. Thanks a lot.